Hello guys, welcome on my channel. In today's video I will show you 7 most important of the ball movement rules. If you haven't subscribed me yet and you want to watch my next video about the best ways to create space on the pitch, please subscribe me now so you won't miss it. Ok, so let's go into the video. Off the ball movement is for me one of the most overlooked aspects of the game, because during the game you have the ball on your feet for about 1 minute and for the rest of the game you don't have the ball. So, if you want to be a good footballer, this is really important for you to know what to do when you are not on the ball, because this is how you will spend the most time of every game. First rule is to always stay, if it's possible, in the blind zone. Let me show you what it means. In this case, it is easy for defender to defend, because he can see both attackers at the same time, without need to look around. As you can see here, he can see everything while looking forward. If you want to make defender's life harder, make sure that he can see you and your teammate at the same time. If you will stay in the defender's blind zone, he has to choose to track you or to track the ball. And while the defender is focused on the ball, you can make your off the ball movement, because the defender won't notice you, so we, he won't be able to cover you. This is especially useful for the strikers when they are in the penalty area and they are waiting for the cross from the side. Second rule is to stay between defenders. As a player, you have to know that your position will always attract defenders because they want to cover you. If you will position yourself between the defenders, they will have a problem because they won't know which one of them have to go to you. In this case, I position myself between the four defenders. And in the best case, you will bait, you will drag out of position four players, which will make space for your teammates. Third rule is to stay as far from the ball as possible. In this case, the attacker position can be better, because if you have the ball, if you attack, you want to receive the ball as high on the pitch as possible, because it is always better to have the ball closer to the opponent's goal, because it gives you the greater chance to score the goal. So you want to stay as far as possible from the teammate with the ball, but you have to be sure that the ball lane, the pass lane is safe and the pass won't be intercepted. The fourth rule is to arrive as late as possible in the place that you want to receive the ball. If you will arrive in the place that you want to receive the ball too soon, it will be easy for defender to react to your movement. If you arrive as late as possible and keep it fast, you will have a chance to go past the defender and keep playing forward. The next rule is about checking your shoulder. Uh, I've already made two videos about vision, about checking your shoulder, so if you want to watch it, you can go to my channel and you will find it. You want to check your shoulder at least two times, first time before you start your movement and the second time when reaching the place that you want to receive the ball. If you check your shoulder and you see that there is free space behind you, you can turn and continue forward. If you check your shoulder and you can see that your movement triggers the move or of the defender, then you can quickly pass back the ball and attack the free space that the defender left. And let's see it again. You check your shoulder, you see that space behind you is clear, so you can continue forward. You are checking your shoulder now, you see that you triggered the defender movement, so you can pass the ball back and your teammate can use the space that defender left. Next rule is to watch your opponent's faces, because it can give you info when to do your movement. If you stay in the defender's blind zone, he will check his shoulder from time to time, but he won't do it all the time. You can see the defender checked his shoulder now, and now he is going to move to the possible passing lane to block it. And now when the defender thinks that you are on his right side, you are switching to his left side and receive the ball. And that's how it looks like from the defender point of view. And the last rule is about watching the opponent's body position and using it against them. As you can see here, you can react much faster to the things that are happening behind you when you are standing sideways. So you have to remember that if you can see the defender with this body position, bad body position, you can easily attack the space behind him because you are facing the run direction and he's not. So you will always be faster into the space behind him. Ok guys, that's all in today's video, I hope that you enjoyed, if you did, please leave like and subscribe, because I will be releasing a video about creating space later in this week. Bye!